Hello, and welcome to another episode from Elden Ring. In this episode, yay, another beautiful Rani fan art. But in this episode, I think I finally am ready to leave the <clears throat> the Lim grave, you know, because there is nothing here else to explore, actually. I mean, there is this part, the lake, and this river where it's invader, and there are like two places over here. But the thing is, I'm not sure, can I take down this invader? Because invaders in this game are, or not just in this game, in Dark Souls, invaders are just designed to roll away when you cast in magic. So, yeah, any sorcerer has hard time dealing with invaders. Lonely. So let me upgrade my dexterity so I can use Yuji Katana. So a bit more this and this, I guess. Nah. I mean, I can try, but um, my main source of damage is the sorcery. And if I'm fighting with something that has high magic resistance, or just straight up dodging my magic, uh, then I'm in high disadvantage. You know. <sighs> yes, that's, that's quite upsetting indeed. So wait, what is on the right side? Oh yeah, the, the Fear Church of Marika over there. Uh, and over here there is another church, but there is an invader there which I have no chance to defeat if I will go there. No, oh, well. Screw it. Let, let's see my chance against the blood finger here. I guess my only hope to survive is to, you know, kind of like run away from this guy and wait until the... Uh, the finger hunter or hunter of bloody finger will appear, you know, and will deal this guy for me. I know it sounds lame, and it probably will fail and result fierce death in this series. But it is what it is. You have to die somewhere. Play as good as any. Oh yeah. So yeah, let's just completely ignore those guys and if I remember correctly, the guy appears on the other end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like the fig hunter of bloody figure appears at the end of this thing, so I have to Kind of like, you know, run past this guy, if possible. Hi. Just don't perform your weapon art and I'm gonna be very happy about this. And by the way, I, I, I'm not losing any stamina. Okay. So I guess this guy also has the... Uh, he also has certain area where he can invade. Got it. So what, I have to rest... Mm, to respawn him? Is that the deal? Nah, sure. I don't know what that was about. I thought once invader is in your world, you have like barrier and you cannot run away from him. So I, I, I'm shocked you can even run away from this guy. He will reappear. Maybe not. No, nope. I guess he is scared now. Seeing how I am just coward, not worth to fight with him. <sighs> I guess he is not interested anymore to kill me. Hmm. I'm playing with the fire right now. Yeah, so now he's gonna be. Agro, so where is the, 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 the thing 
You know, how far I can go before he will disappear? Well, now you appeared over there. So you have random spot where where you appear. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. No, not, not this. Uh huh, sure. So where is this? Mm hmm, where is this finger hunter? Any day you wanna show up, man, to save my life from this psychopath? There we go. Yeah, the end is nice for me, if you will not interfere. Please. Thank you. Still, it's quite difficult to hit him with magic, because, yeah, you can see. He's scripted to dodge everything. I mean... It's it kind of looks like the, the, the Mortal Kombat, you know, in Mortal Kombat enemies are also scripted to block your attack in the moment you press the button because they read your input. So this feels exactly identical, so maybe we should use our sword instead. Yeah. But my sword barely did any damage to, to you. Uh oh. Come on. Yeah, I won. It was lame and pathetic, but I don't really care. So anyway, I did this. Now I can go to Murkwater Cave and finish the patches. Now. This is like the shortest cave from all. Because there's like five enemies and the, the NPC boss right after that. So there is no even any loot here to collect really. Although I guess torch would be nice. Because I know there are like traps on the ground and everything. And because Patches is another NPC. Uh, oh good. Actually, guys, let me be. There is nothing in this cave what is worth exploring, so let's just... Yeah, fight with patches. But just because he's another NPC, he's gonna read my input, and he's gonna dodge my magic, so... I don't think I can even use my summon to distract him. No. Excuse me? Well, he's not really gonna read my input, he's gonna block it all the time, but that's... I don't know... Is that better or worse? Yes, a little bit better. I know I don't have to kill him, it's enough if I will bring his health to like halfway. Yeah. Come on, man, Drews, die. Yes. He is just taking damage whenever he feels like it. And whenever he feels like it, he's just rolling away like this. There we go. You're a lady of reason, through and through. <laughs> ah, well, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? I don't understand what is the point of this choice, at least in previous games, in Dark Souls, if you choose, you don't want to forgive him. 
at least he will give you like the the the, the item any item but in this game you can say whatever you want and you won't get nothing so yeah I mean he gave you nothing is the untethered tarnished like you only free-spirited nomadic you might say only for now those retired soldiers turned bandits and oh, they're paying for my gruel in exchange for my well showing them the ropes but honestly this looting racket is bloody terrifying frankly I'm ready to wash my hands clean maybe set up a legitimate shop so don't be a stranger I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we did this. Now we can go to the end of this river. Because there are other catacombs there. <sighs> and it's quite sad. Actually, that's the wrong way. Or actually, I, I kind of want to visit the patches. Nah. Can I like not aggro anyone? I guess no. But I wanted to say I kinda wanna visit patches because I wanna buy the Margit shackles. But I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium. Yes. Because everything's top notch. Yes, 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 yes. So this cost 5,000, I don't have that much, and then another 5,000 is for stone sword key. Mm-hmm. Should I use this for later? No. No. Cheese for that. Yeah, 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 cheese for that, sure. So anyway... Now we know how much we need to buy the Margit Shackles. Yeah, because it will make fight with Morgoth and Margit way easier. So let's just also visit the second catacombs. At least I kill the invaders, nothing supposed to trouble me here anymore. Yeah. And we can also progress the quest of the uh, Bloody Finger. Bloody Finger Hunter, what is your name again? Just joining the fray, tarnished. Well, you fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm Yura. Oh, Yura, Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Tarnished, held in thrall by Cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own. You stay the path. You're certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. Yeah, and just like every hero who hunts someone, you die at the end. How sad. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. Yes, 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 and the next spot where I can meet you is the Royal Lucaria Academy. Uh, so wait, there is something here at the end or no? There must be. Yeah, there are catacombs. So I'm gonna finish those, if I can of course, and then I'm gonna finish the episode. Uh, Murkwater Catacombs. And by the way, I kind of... Like... Be <sighs> In between last episode and this episode, I kind of read some wiki about NPC questline. And those are, by the way, another catacombs with imps. Hey, those enemies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why I hate them, because they're moving like on crack. We already seen that, but... Between the episodes, I read about the NPC quest lines. Thanks. 
and I don't really know how many quest lines I can finish in the single in the single NG, you know? Because there is no way I'm gonna keep track all NPC quest line uh, the Miyazaki added to this game in just single NG. Like for instance to 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 get the Yeah. These guys stay there. For instance to get the talisman Ow for the sorcery uh, you have a choice what to do with Suivus Potion. You can either give this to the person he wants he wants us to give. Yeah. Which is Nefeli. But you also have choice to giving this to her father, Ovnir the Alnowing, I believe that's his name. Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Or you can give it to Dunkiter later in game to skip the, the, the Heist quest line. So you see, it gives you like multiple of choices and each one leads to different outcome. And I know, for most people going for the... You know, for most people giving the potion to Dunkiter is the best because you don't have to collect the seed birds. The seed birds? The... Uh, I kind of forgot how the item costs that you have to collect. Well, anyway, you have to collect like five items and feed him with all of those, you know. Fix seed bird, seed bird cares. I I don't know, but yeah, you have to collect like five. Okay. I see. First of all, I don't know how the fuck am I alive. Okay. Yeah, that took my speech actually, but... Yeah. I was going to say, you can give him five of those items and he will give you like the... the item to get his corset ending. Mm. Or you can just give him a potion and skip all that. So, yeah, for most people, this is the best what you can do with this potion, but the thing is, you get into the point where you can give him this potion so late in game, it's not worth when you're playing a sorcerer, because I need to get the item which buffs damage of my spell as soon as possible, you know? So I think the best would be to give this to Ofnir, the all-knowing because I have access to him relatively early in game. Great. And this guy is perfect boss for the sorcerer. Yeah. Uh oh. I mean he is as long as he is far away. There we go. It's a miracle I didn't die before, but anyway, yeah, we have Banished Knight, Ashes. Those are fierce good Ashes, by the way. Uh, and I think I'm gonna finish the episode. I know there are also the catacombs over here, you know, and to get to this one you have to jump from this bridge, you know. Mm, but I'm maybe gonna do it in the next episode, because in this one, this is gonna be it. So, let's just quickly... Where we can go? It was here, we was here. Uh, yeah, let's just go here. So, I hope everybody had a good time watching this. Surprisingly, I still didn't die. I know, at the beginning it was kind of slow start, with me running away, but at least with this episode I learned something. You can run away from the bloody finger, you know, and he will like, he will like disappear. I don't know how does that make sense, because you cannot run away from any other invader, I'm pretty sure, except this one. What is so special in this specific invader, I do not know. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching and well, see you tomorrow in the next video. Take care and bye bye.